hi angels welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well today's video i'm here to show you guys this wig that i turned out into a nice ponytail this hairstyle i thought about it for a while and i wanted to buy a new closure but that's gonna cost me something and i didn't want to buy something new so i was like i'll look for something there's gotta be another way you know so i thought of this wig that i haven't been using it for a while because i don't like that much of a curly hair so uh, what i did with this wig i cut out the closure and then yeah kept the back of it because that's gonna come handy in the other styles but i can still use this wig just the way as i can like if it has the um the closure on it so yeah so it, i did not do a lot of damage i just cut out the closure and the back of it is left there because it's got a comb ready to go anyways for a different hairstyle so um with this hairstyle it's just a, um, the same ponytail that i normally do so apply a mousse and then the gel and then i apply a bit of got to be glue just to um you know just to hold it down a little bit now not, not gorilla glue guys not gorilla glue but got to be glue so <laughs> So it's just the same process as I do the ponytail, but if you're not familiar with my previous videos of ponytails, go check it out and you'll know what's up, what I've been using for my hair. And yeah, so with this hairstyle, it's very, very, very simple if you have a closure. So if you have a, a wig that's just sitting there, you don't know what to do with it, just play around with your closure, guys, because this is my first attempt and I love it. It, eh? I'm pretty sure there's some people that are doing it at the moment, but this thing I thought about it, I was like, I need something that will, you know, that will bring out those edges. I need something that we you know will be flatter because with our hair is very like um, it's very shaggy. And if you this hairstyle does not even last for long, and I wanted something that would last me maybe like a week or two, you know. So I thought of this. You know cutting out the closure getting closure as you can see it cut out very nicely you don't even need much you just need the front part and the rest can be laid down you know so i i um i got my the skin tone foundation and just apply it there just to tone up my the lace you know to go well with my scalp and i tried it out put it on my chin just to see <laughs> because my hair is closed up at the moment so i tried it on my chin and see if it goes well with my skin tone and how much I need for that foundation. So I apply it on and ready to go. Just let it dry for a bit. You can put powder or setting spray on it, but I just put it like that because it works either way. And then just comb it out. As you can see, I chose this hair. This hair came out handy because if I had the straight one, it wouldn't actually suit that much of my hair because my hair is a bit curly if I put the gel in it. So this one came, ah, it's a prayer answered guys, it's prayer answered. So as you can see when I comb that hair out, it just looks exactly like mine. So I tie it down because I'm about to glue it up. As you can see, ready to go, I'm about to glue it up. So I tie it up so I won't have to conclude all the hair in it. And yeah, after tying your hair from all that gel, you know, this is the same procedure with my ponytail videos. Nothing has changed besides got to be glue, be getting sprayed on there, not Gorilla Glue, guys. And yeah, so we get our got to be glue and just spray it. As you can see, my forehead is very handy, guys. I embraced this forehead since day one, yeah, because there's space there. As you can see, I don't even have to ruin my edges i know my edge has been moonwalking since day one but i love it anyways <laughs> and this procedure is beautiful i can wear it for so long without having to worry about my edges just on the side but that one is not that much important so yeah just pray that about three layers guys i did about three layers and let it dry and then um yeah apply on the edge I, I apply on the lace ready to go As your glue is uh, it's a bit you know tacky dry you just put on your lace and if, be very very careful because you don't want to like put some of the hair underneath it is gonna come out really tacky so you have to be really careful and gentle yeah this part is a bit scary but we'll get through it making sure the lace is very like precise with your hair 
because this part we don't even need a lot as, as you can see if as long as you got that front part the rest of it will be laid down beautifully yeah so <laughs> after that just grab a side tin cloth and just wrap around around your head and just let it um, set for a bit for about five to ten minutes you will know what's up and yeah after that you're ready to go with the styling And this part, I just grab. This part is actually optional. I just grab a needle and a thread, and that part that, as you can see, when I was showing the lace, that part that looks like a bit of a U, I just attach it down to my actual hair, just to um just to avoid that bulkiness. But when I did this hairstyle again, I it wasn't necessary. So this part is actually optional if you want to do so. But yeah, it's actually good to secure everything now because when attitude kicks, mm, you don't want everything falling out. <laughs> so yeah, we just open up, open up that lace, uh, the edges, we're about to lay them edges. As you can see, everything is glued down and just go out with your like old toothbrush, the one that I do my edges. And just loose everything up with your brush, everything, making sure you comb that lace very nicely very nice and flat because when you start putting the product on you don't want it like you want everything to lay flat eh? flat I'm telling you so comb it out everything goes straightly and then apply your mousse just the same procedure that we did with our um with our natural hair apply the mousse first because this one's gonna be pretty easy because it's a straight and soft hair so it should lay really nicely guys as you can see it's coming out handy those curls are coming out damn <laughs> yeah oh jesus lay down lay down lay down oh who this who this Yeah, just be careful with this part because you're pulling it upwards and you got to be glue it's not that strong so you have to be really careful this part i was struggling a little bit but i ended up like pulling everything up and spray it on again with got to be glue and then tie it up because uh it was not doing any mercy <laughs> all of that the minute the um the minute the mousse touch that lace it loosen up the glue so you have to be really careful and yeah i was struggling a little bit so after that we put got to be glued this part actually lays oh jesus oh my god this is satisfying oh Imagine doing this on someone else's hair too. Oh my god. If you have any closure, any closure that you want me to do this hairstyle on you and you live in Brisbane, please do not hesitate to reach out to me because I want to try it out on somebody and see how it turns out. Eh? Ow!
after all is done just I like to grab my this um these two weaves have been there since day one you know and again if you have not seen my ponytail videos go ahead and check it out so grab that too and put a bit of um, bobby bin at the end and then just place it on your natural ponytail and then wrap it around it leaving the lace one out you know for the finished touch and just wrap it around keep going wrap it everywhere make sure everything is secured because the minute you get into a fight mm -mm, there's a hairstyle that you just want to ignore your haters <laughs> even if they touch you be like yep guy will handle you <laughs> As soon as that ponytail is out, you continue the business and I throw hands. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. But anyways, just bobby pin everything down, and then with that, with that, um, the ponytail of your lace, the front of lace, yeah. At the end, just loosen it up a little bit, like loosen it up just like that, and comb it out. And then just wrap it around just as we we um just uh, I always do it with my previous ponytail just wrap it around and spray it we've got to be glue just to finish up that you know ponytail touch and to give you that high bun because I like mine high I like high buns yeah it makes it look nice and sexy guys yeah so wrap it around and then I like to grab just some of the weave at the back and wrap it around as well just to match up the ponytail and then spray it with got to be glue and you're good to go guys and that's the end that's the finish look how beautiful is that how beautiful is that eh? like if you tag me if you end up achieving this look this is beautiful you don't even need like really long hair as long as you get that lace frontal you're good to go guys this is beautiful ow chai 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 all right anyways please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up guys share if you want to share this is a finished look and may god bless you all abundantly i'll see you guys in my next video very soon i am happy with the results this is my this is my go-to ponytail now i have a have officially abandoned the rest but <laughs> i love this so much god bless you all bye bye angels Dudes drop them sad Now what you getting into, I'm just asking I'm trying to get up in you, I'm just nasty And lately she been stressed with them online classes like On the movie set, seems like hey, it after 11 o'clock, you were...